Hi everyone, Mary from Ireland here on YouTube. Uh, Angels Love and Light everywhere else. And my website is www.angeliclifeguidance.com. I've also got another website, Mary's Gifts of Ireland.com, where you'll find some of my other work, um, books, um, my photographs on tiles for the wall to hang on your wall and on clothes and socks and clocks and mugs and books and notebooks and wall art and what else bags so it's all there on mary's gifts uh, from ireland mary's gifts of ireland i'll leave the links below anyway okay how did you all go last week um we had Archangel Raphael last week and healing and the green energy. And I was talking about putting a green uh, blanket over Mother Earth or the country or the family or whatever. And I see a video today from Amanda Ellis and she talks about the um, upcoming solstice, the, the lead up to the solstice and the energy coming through and the weekend being a bit flammable and the energy's being a bit chaotic and the Leo King says it too and she said bring in the green energy so I thought that was interesting a week after me but it must be ongoing so I will choose from the messages from our angels again and I want to choose from the goddess deck so we we'll play it by ear as to how many cards are needed. <sighs> okay, green we'll take. Two fell out. So we have Athena and Vanessa. So Athena is, it's safe to be powerful. You know what's right for you, basically. It's safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. We've been learning for a long time how to be in our own power and how to respect other people as we stay in our own power. So assertiveness, calm, um, no anger, no shouting and screaming at anybody, but assertively saying, well, this is how I feel and this is what I would like and this is how I see it. I'd like to see your, I'd like to hear your opinion or whatever. Or if you're standing up to somebody, I feel I cannot stay in this energy any longer. I need to move on and move forward. Um, I come, it reminds me of my apartment years back and I had given, I just felt I had to say that I was um, leaving at some stage and I had no date and next thing, when, 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 and I was, ah! <laughs> but anyway, I, it wouldn't have happened properly if I may have been procrastinating. I had made the decision and I voiced the decision I had made, but the other person needed when, 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 when. And I just had to stay calm and stay out of the way and keep working behind the scenes to find where I needed to be. So it all worked out. Of course, it all worked out. And this is Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? And how do I know what my divine purpose is? You know by how you feel. What feels right for you? Does it feel right to stay where you are does it feel right to be working in the job you're working in does it feel right to call in somebody to help you does it feel right to go for a second opinion what feels right for you and you can only make your decision by how you feel at the moment and maybe in six months time you will feel differently on 
some decisions that you make internally. Like it took me, there's a divine timing in all of this as well. From the first time I knew I, the energy was showing me, Mary, you're not going to be here much longer in that particular apartment. It was August and I moved out the following April and it just went in a process between this and every morning I woke up and I said, what do I need to do today? Do I need to pack boxes? Do I need to look for other rental properties? Do I need to make money? Do I need to ask for help? You know, so it's day by day. Don't beat yourself up if you're trying to make a decision and it's not made yet. You know, day by day, the right day will come along for this action to be taken or the decision to be made. And I did give a little bit of guidance to a friend today. I just know if you want to write on a piece of paper, I just know that I won't be in this house forever. I just know that I want to live by the sea. I just know that I want to read angel cards. I just know that I need to spread the word. You know, write down what you just know. You could write another column of, well, I'm not really sure of, but I think, you know, and it just, the act of writing it down makes things become a little more clear. You know, just a bit of guidance I passed over today. So it's safe for you to be powerful and it's safe for you to trust. I just know your own inner guidance. Give these another little shuffle. And don't dismiss any thoughts that come in. There's one gun on the ground. Um, don't dismiss thoughts that come in. If a thought comes um, to research something, you could, somebody could walk into the room and take your attention away from it, but it will come back to you if you need to follow up on that thought, you know, or write down the thought when you ha that you have and that you mightn't be able to follow up on it now, but, oh yeah, I must follow up on that one and write it down. Right, what card fell? Shanti, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So that's where you want to be. Tranquility, peace, calm, love, joy, happiness. So that's where you're going. And that's what you want to bring into your life. And that's what you want to sit in for the most part in your life. And you can find that peace even within chaos. You know, if the whole world has fallen around you, you can find that inner peace. Close your eyes and breathe Breathe in the light, breathe in the green light, if that's what you feel like. Breathe in whatever color, white, red, blue, green, yellow, whatever, and uh, feel the peace. What's down there? There's a lion, a lion and a lamb. And there we go about our powerful. Um, the lion is strong and king and the lamb is meek and quiet. But you can mix both and walk into your power and speak assertively. You don't have to be roaring, you know, you can be a mi the middle way, the middle way of both of these. And they could be power am animals of yours too. And Leo, the star sign, of course, um, I don't think the lamb has any star sign, has it? So you may be dealing, dealing, Leos are very strong in their opinions and strong in their uh, knowingness as well and what they will tolerate and what they won't tolerate. But you don't have to be so meek and quiet and you can take some of their energy and walk towards them and be able to assert yourself if you're dealing with a Leo. But it can be anybody. Of course it can be anybody. Okay, so it's safe for you to be powerful. Make your decision which way brings me closer to my purpose. 
What brings you peace within? What brings a smile to your face? What brings passion to your belly? Fire to your belly? We choose one more. Ah, Uriel. <laughs> I have one friend who will laugh at this because uh, we talked about Archangel Uriel the other day. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Okay, so you can look up Uriel and see what message you get, because my friend got a different message to that. But he did come up again in uh, Amanda Ellis's reading yesterday, I think. Uh, so do a bit of research on it. Ask to be guided as to what Archangel Uriel is helping you with. But in this particular card, anger and unforgiveness. So the forgiveness is huge. The whole opono opono prayer, as I always say, and forgiveness lets you off the hook. It takes the baggage off your back because carrying around resentment and unforgiveness towards anybody is holding you back they can walk their own path and they'll have to face whatever they have to face in their own way but you holding on is holding that horrible energy between both of you so let yourself become free okay i just what i want to do is just go in here like this this is, I didn't say, it's week beginning, 8 and 7, the 15th of June. Okay. So one of my numbers is 616, so that'll be next Tuesday. So if that date means anything to ye. Serafina, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. New babies being born new pregnancy tests being positive, um, new people coming home from abroad. Well, I mean, I'm not sure whether there'll be much of that in this week, but um, reunions of families as well. And maybe even phone calls, texts, maybe, hello, how are you? Long time no speak. You know, family, uh, you can put in friends there. You can look up Serafina as well. I must look her up myself. She's very sparkly, isn't she? Lovely. So I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. So peace, forgiveness will bring you to reunion with family. You know, life is too short to be bringing that to the grave. You know, because... Some beliefs are we come back and we do it again. We take up where we left off with that person and we have to eventually learn how to forgive. Okay, so now we shall take, see what goddess is with us. Somebody came to mind there and if it's her, I'll just. Ooh. And there she is, Mother Mary. <laughs> She just popped out. That's who came to mind. Expect a miracle. Very, very beautiful. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Trust your I just know and trust your desires and your passions. But you won't have any idea how or the journey or the detours or the road. You can only take one day at a time and sometimes one hour at a time. That's just amazing. She flipped out. I want to take another one. I don't know why she came to mind. I just straight away, Mother Mary came in. And of course, she's peace. Who was it? Somebody. Somebody was channeling somebody during the week. And Mother Mary, must have been Amanda Ellis again. Mother Mary, she called in Mother Mary. And Mother Mary wasn't getting involved. She was holding space. That's it. And uh, many of us are holding space for other other friends and family as well. Pele, divine passion. Be honest with yourself. I just know. 
What is your heart's true desire? You can write that one down too and maybe do a vision board, but feel it deeply within yourself. Feel it deeply like this is what I want and this is my desire and this is my passion and whatever I have to do to bring it forth, I will do. You know, that kind of a feel. Now I'm looking at that, it's like a volcano. Hopefully there'll be no volcanoes erupting, but it could be an energetic volcano, that anger that Archangel Uriel is helping us with. Don't buy into it. Just hold the space for the other people. And if you feel like jumping back, take a breath and maybe speak when you're more calm and when the other person is more calm and don't get involved in arguments on the internet, you know, for your own sake, for everybody's sake, just hold the space. Last card, Dana, High Priestess, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So remembering new knowledge during the week as well, watching your nighttime dreams, look at that throat chakra as well, and maybe speaking to, your, to others in a calm, assertive way. Um, and you can teach by your own experiences, like I did in my book, my new book, Anybody Who Hasn't Heard About It, Onwards and Upwards by Mary Keena Donlan on Amazon, all Amazons in Kindle and paperback. And I think it's not on paperback in Australia yet. It takes a bit longer to get things passed over there, it seems. But if you're Googling, Google my name, Mary Keena Donlan. I will put the link, the dot com link below and then you'll be able to see the name, you'll be able to see the book, you'll know what you'll be looking for on your own Amazon. And it's only on Amazon at the moment. I don't think I'll be putting it anywhere else. I have more books to write, so I, I, I don't feel I have to um, use time trying to upload it in other forums at the moment or on other websites. So that's Dana. You have knowledge within you that you're going to remember and that you're going to teach others about as well. And they're all blue, blue stones. So that is communication and throat chakra speaking and teaching. So you know how that's to come yourself. Like, you know, if you're a healer and a teacher, videos, books, um, no one-to-one -one sessions at the moment in most countries, but phone calls, WhatsApp videos, WhatsApp chats, family, friends, you know, there could be some of that coming in this week too, that there, you're going to have conversations with family members. They might come and ask you questions. And uh, in my case, um, family reading my book and I go, Ooh cringe yes, there's a lot of me in my book and uh, stuff that people would go what you know how like how does she believe that like people that wouldn't know me or wouldn't be on this path we'll say might just question and say is she all there that she believes that you know but I know they probably wouldn't buy the book if there wasn't a bit of the spiritual path within them, we'll say. It's in everybody, of course. So, family and friends, new additions, reunions, phone calls, messages, um, people popping up out of the blue, and new babies as well. Okay, will I choose another? Well, Mother Mary, we welcome you and are very grateful for any help you can give us. And she's holding the baby, of course. And there are lots of children around her too. So you may be teaching children or working with children. We had that last week too. Some of you may be interacting with children. I'll just pull one more. To tie it all up. Quiet time. So a mixture of everything and the quiet time you will get your inspiration and your guidance. Take time 
some quiet time alone to rest, meditate and contemplate. And look at that, the aura around her as well. Um, cleansing your aura, healing your aura, um, resting your aura. Um, there may be something, I know Mel Brand, Twin, Goldway Twin Flames was saying like there, for some that have gone so far, there's a new sheet, etheric sheet coming in for the people who have cleared everything. He said, <laughs> if you're still being triggered, you're not there yet. You'll come to a stage where your emotions, you won't be triggered. You know, your emotions won't be all over the place when somebody says or does anything. So I know personally, I am not there yet. And I always thought that we should get to that place. So I was glad to hear him say that. Now, some people wouldn't believe that. But I think, like, what's all this work about? Only to get to a more calm even keel where you won't be um, feeling huge deep emotions that you have to clear and but the love the huge 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 love yes we can bring that in we love that full time I'm sure it won't be here full time for a long time but uh, anyway we can try so your quiet time is where you get your inspiration and your uh, guidance and rest your body as well. The energies. I, I've been watching videos the last two nights and fell asleep. I wasn't even in bed. I was sitting on a chair. It was early evening and just dozed. Video finished and I hadn't a clue what I heard. And that doesn't happen to me a lot. Now, if I listen to videos in bed, I will definitely fall asleep but this was not bedtime. But that's fine too. That's fine. So rest your body and treat your body well and um, drink plenty of water. These energies um, are supposed to be getting volatile, we'll say. So hold the space, keep calm, keep in your own bubble and um, interact with whoever needs you, we'll say that. So love and light to you. Talk to you soon. I am available for readings. Um, WhatsApp, one-to-one, -one, email, video like this, um, phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm so used now to doing the video face-to-face -face that being on the phone is kind of weird, you know, not being able to see the person. And my daughter and my son... Uh, who have the babies, they WhatsApp video me too. So I'm so used to seeing everybody on video. It's great. So uh, if you choose that, lovely. I think my Skype is working again. I'll let you know on that because the camera on my laptop is now working out of the blue. So I leave it at that. Website below, Amazon link below, PayPal link for donations. Thank you so much and uh, Patreon page. I'll leave that below as well. So thank you. Bye for now.